Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino, here on a Sunday, a very rare event, uh, sitting before you, unshaven, wearing what appears to be a Starfleet uniform. Well, guess what? I'm, I'm going to clue you in on something. This is a Starfleet uniform. So, why on earth, or, you know, where no man has gone before, would Gregory Manorino be sitting here on a Sunday, unshaven, wearing a Starfleet uniform? Because people, frankly, we need to stop the madness. It's really the truth. Um, I couldn't even wait to do a video or, or include what I'm about to tell you tomorrow. I had to get this out now because it's frankly unbelievable. It's, it's actually unbelievable what we what we just found out here. And I, I've just got a couple of things I want to I want to read to you. You know, I'm just fishing around here online, and a couple of things just are, are crossing my or catching my attention. And here are just a couple. The Treasury Department. This is incredible. Sit down if you're not sitting down for this, or if you happen to have a Starfleet uniform, go get it, put it on, because this is really just, again, where no man has gone before. Or woman, for that matter. The Treasury Department cuts bank taxes by announcing financial services don't include banking. Okay, net result is, has the effect of cutting taxes being paid by the banks. Did you hear what I just said? I am certain that our president who plays 5D chess or has a real plan here signed off on this. How is this helping the average guy or the average girl? By giving the banks a tax break. By stating that financial services do not include banking. Uh, I don't know. Again, I'm sitting here in a Starfleet uniform, so there's something off up here. Help me out here with that one. Uh, how about this? U.S. spending on its interest now hits an all-time high as our budget deficit soars to nearly $700 billion. Hmm. Well, that's bringing the Federal Reserve right to the forefront. Borrow, borrow, borrow. Now, a lot of you seem to believe this is a good thing, that, you know, President Trump's master plan is to borrow into oblivion, and then all of a sudden, you know, he'll let us in on his plan here. That is being that is being speculated on by, I don't know, a bunch of websites that are brainwashing people, because here's the effect right here. And this is what really prompted me to sit here, unshaven, on a Sunday, wearing a Starfleet uniform. Consumer debt, yet, yet again, hit another record high. And what is the effect of this? More Americans are applying for bankruptcy or filing bankruptcy than we've ever seen. So how is, and it's actually hurting older Americans, which I found actually somewhat surprising, a little bit. I had to sit back and ponder it, um, why this would be affecting older Americans to such a degree. But understand, look, the system is toxic. You all know that. Some of you believe that this is a grand plan, but the grand plan thus far uh, 569 days into President Trump's presidency uh, is hurting the average guy and the average girl. And, and bringing world central banks, our central bank, the Fed, right to the top of that pyramid like I've been explaining to you. And now we find out that the Treasury Department, his Treasury Department, is going to make it easier for these banks to pay less taxes. Well, like I said earlier, and there are some who are going to get their feelings hurt here. And frankly, I don't give a damn. Because if you sincerely believe that there is a grand plan here and Trump is playing 5D chess, you really should find a good psychiatrist to talk to. Um, <laughs> you can speculate and think all you want, but look at what's going on here. It is frankly unbelievable. Anyway, I hope you found some of this interesting. Because people, look, we have to stop this. I can't stress this enough. Uh, candidate Trump, like I spoke about in a tweet I did, I think yesterday, this guy had it right. He said that debts and deficits were out of control and promised to stop the madness then. He also made it as plain as plain can be 
that he believed at that time that the Federal Reserve was rigging the market so President Obama would just look good. But how did this all just slip the mind of now President Trump? Candidate Trump was a completely different man than President Trump here. And yes, I will concede that he has done some good things for our country. But isn't that the job of the president? What has he done that's so special here? And if you look at what I just went over and just watch this video again, unless you know you don't want to hear these things because it's the truth, well, I don't know what to tell you then, but nothing here, especially that has developed over the last couple of days, on top of everything else that I've been discussing is helping the average guy or the average girl with bankruptcies now soaring with consumer debt now at a new all-time record high, record high deficits, and now banks are going to get a break on their taxes. Well, if that sounds like a grand plan to you or a 3D chess to you, you got a problem. See you tomorrow.